Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Abigail Fries, and Chandler's actually in the woods. And this is Pope TV. One more week and finals, Greyhounds. We can do this. Toys for Tots is back. Pope Fast Pitch is proud to be able to carry out another toy drive for the 2020 holiday season. This year, the toy drive will run from now until December 18th. Toys for Tots will take any new unwrapped toys, regardless of price or size. The ages of 10 to 12, both genders were the most in need of toys as we discovered during our trip to the toy warehouse last year. Please find it in your heart to drop off a toy in one of the bins located throughout the school. Okay, we're the Environmental Club. We take the recycling every week from every room in the building and bring it out to the bin out back. Today, I'm here to tell you two things. First of all, paper cup towels are not recyclable. And second, we're implementing a new program and it's a competition between classrooms. <laughs> Each week, we're going to give you a star. A green star means that everything in your bin is recyclable, and that's awesome. A yellow star means you have paper towels or tissue, tissues or candy wrappers in there, like this one. And that's, that's, not, that's not really good. But red, red star, means that you have food in there or some other waste product that's definitely not recyclable. And at the end of each month, we're going to count whoever has the most green stars, and they will get a shout out on GNN. Sign up for Pope Miracle's Dance Marathon happening on February 20th. Help us raise awareness for Children's Healthcare of Atlanta and come participate. Anyone is welcome. The link for signups is in Pope Miracle's Instagram bio. And now let's hear from Camden Ash. Camden does our health and wellness report in conjunction with Nurse Jeannie. Thank you, Abigail. Holidays are coming up and that means holiday shopping. Continue to have healthy habits during your holiday shopping. Wear your mask, wash your hands, and watch your distance. Remember that there are also Virus, respiratory viruses out there such as the flu. So if you haven't got your flu shot, please, please, please get your flu shot. Thank you, Camden. And now to Amir and Tristan with the sports. This is Amir and Tristan in the morning and now the sports. Congratulations to our wrestlers on a very productive week last week. Let's get the scoop from Katrina Schmidt. Thanks guys, I'm Christina Schmidt and here's the wrestling report. Last Wednesday, Pope beat Walton 40 to 34 and Lasseter 37 to 36 in a tight matchup. On Saturday, Pope went three and one at Walton, defeating Paselli, Morgan County, and East Coweta. The team will be wrestling at home tomorrow night for senior night. Come out and support our wrestling team. Good luck, Greyhounds. Back to Amir and Tristan. Thank you, Christina, and congratulations to our wrestlers. The basketball teams have been competing hard every day. The Lady Basketball Hounds took down Osborne and South Cobb last week. Katie Ward and Cheyenne Holloman led all scorers in both games. The boys lost a close one to South Cobb on Friday, but Will Coker dropped 19 points and Zach Marinko added 15 more. The Hounds play tomorrow at Wheeler, girls at 6, boys at 7.30. Great job, Hoopers. Congratulations on a big weekend to the swim and dive teams. Both the boys and girls team placed first, beating Walker, McEachern, Marietta, Walton, and North Cobb. Great job, swimmers. Are you interested in filming for the Pope football team? If so, find me in Savvy's room during first period. Back to the studio. Thank you, guys. New Alpha Theta members, dues are set up on My Payments Plus. This year will be paid totally online, including your senior honor cords. Please take care of this by 12-18. Also, keep an eye out for details about a virtual meeting soon.
Pope Drama is having Zoom meetings every Friday at 3.45. Text at PDRAM2020 to 81010 to get in on the dramatic fun. Pope students and teachers, we are asking you to sign the Pledge of Respect for No Place for Hate today in first period. Watch the video and please sign the pledge. Teachers, post it in your rooms as a reminder to all of us to respect others and be welcoming to all. The No Place for Hate initiative is designed to rally the entire school around the goal of creating a welcoming community committed to stopping all forms of bullying and bias. No Place for Hate provides a unique framework to incorporate new and existing programs with one consistent message. No Place for Hate can help Pope foster a culture of respect and create a safe, bully-free learning environment for students. And Pope High School is committed to being a No Place for Hate zone. Take a look. I will seek to gain understanding from those who are different than me. I will speak out against prejudice and discrimination. I will reach out to support those who are targets of hate. I will promote respect for people and help foster a prejudice-free school. I believe that one person can make a difference. No person can be an innocent bystander when it comes to opposing hate. I recognize that respecting individual dignity and promoting intergroup harmony are the responsibilities of all students. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have a great day, Greyhounds.